I'm, I'm here today trying to tell some folk, wake out of sleep. Shake yourself. Get into a lifestyle where you can take advantage of the times and the seasons of God. Can I keep on here? And then he says, walk circumspectly. Can I tell y'all what it is? See, when you walk circum, yes, the, the, the prefix circ or circum, it means circle, circumvent. It means to go around in a circle. In other words, it means to be alert. It means to be watchful. It means to be attentive. It means to be prepared. In other words, you've got to be prepared for a move. See, God, you, you just, I know everybody say, you know, I can do anything and it's just going to just run me down. The devil is a liar. You've got to be prepared for a move. God is trying to prepare. Even through this conference, God has been trying to prepare you for a God time, God sent opportunity. And it's here right now. And he says, be, walk circumspectly. He says, be aware and get ready. See, a lot of times we miss opportunities because we're just not ready. I remember when I was, we were trying to build our church uh, there in Albany and I was looking for money. We were looking for money going here, going to this bank, going to this institution. And it seemed like every door was closed. Uh, but one day when I was praying in the Holy Ghost, I entered into the spirit and God said, go down and talk to them. My God, I went down and talked to them. Uh, and, and in two weeks, we have the money. Now I'm the woman, once we built the church, uh, the president of the bank came by and said, Scott, let me tell you something, Pastor. He says, listen, she says, listen, what you all did, what we did for you all, we could never do it again. We, we've not done anything like that since. We couldn't do it now. But what you guys did, there was a window that opened up and shut real quick. He said, but what you guys did, you got in there before the window shut. I'm telling you right now, if you could just Get in the spirit. Lord, I feel like running. Church, somebody say, get in the spirit. If you can get in, there's a window. I'm preaching to somebody right here. Somebody know this. God, anybody just been feeling like they've been pregnant? They've they been feeling like a push, an unction of the spirit. God, you don't even know what it is. But God is saying, get ready for it. Has God ever came to you and said, get ready? And you don't even know what you're getting ready for? He's trying to prepare your life for a mighty move of the spirit. Get ready. Ready, <laughs> Hallelujah. Touch somebody near you. Uh, tell them to get ready. Uh, tell them get ready, get ready. Uh, get ready. Uh, my God. Uh, and then he said, uh, we ought to be passionate uh, about understanding what the will of the Lord is. Uh, we are too selfish trying to make money. Uh, but do you not know when you got, get in the will of God uh, that money finds you? Uh, Lord, I wish I could talk to somebody. There's something that I say every week uh, when we're receiving an offering. Now, I'll go through uh, several words, but there's something that I always confess and I get it all the time. When I'm raising, I say I'm a money magnet. I say money just is attracted to me. Lord, have mercy. I get it from the right and the left. Can I talk to you right now? It's good to have a job. You need a job. But there is some other type of income. It's called give and it shall be given. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give to your bosom. And let me tell you I mean, it's good to go to a job and work your nine to five, your 40 hours. But at the end of that, you still live it from check to check. But there is a place that you can get in God. When you get in his will, money will follow you. Lord, I wish I could talk to somebody right now. Tell somebody, say, I'm a money magnet. I'm about to get in God's will. And wherever I am, finances will find me. Can I talk to somebody right now? I'll never be broke another day in my life. You know why? I'm in his will. The economy will never have an effect on me. Why? Because I'm in his will. My God, when you're in his will, God will make sure you're taken care of. Uh, 
Hallelujah. Touch somebody say, get in his wheel. The safest place in the whole wide world is in the wheel of God. Can I talk to you all? Your trials make sense when you know you're in his wheel. See, a lot of folk can't get through a trial because they don't know what God is working out. But when you know his wheel and you go in a trial, you can praise him in the trial because you know whatever they're doing to you is taking you to another dimension. See, can I talk to somebody? I used to be an athlete and the emphasis is on used to be because I ain't athletic no more. Amen. But some of y'all know what I used to do. It was right here in uh, Muncie. I still got records at Ball State. But you know what they used to do? They would work us out. They would run us and run us and run us and run us. After they would run us for two hours, they would put us in the weight room. I said, man, are you crazy? They said, lift, 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 lift. But the reason why there was a whole bunch of jumping and screaming and yelling and praising in the weight room, even though we were in pain, we understood the purpose of the pain. See, when you know what your, your, what your will is, what God's will is for your life, even when you're in the trial, you don't lose your praise. That's the reason why when folk come into church and you know what they're going through and they come in here with a praise on their lips, they know they're in the will of God. <laughs> oh, I wish I could freeze like I feel it here. <laughs>